on this for both of you guys. Well, for John, this is the kind of game only in the season. You guys normally lose. You have a reputation of losing games. This was what is the difference tonight? And then for Brad, I came on in the fourth quarter when you had the buckets to kind of hold you in. How's that? What you say? Uh, one, uh, I just stay with it. First, my principal was say, but uh, it was it was the same effort, man. I can't take all the credit for, for the fourth quarter. Uh, I think there were several breakdowns. I think we got a lot of offensive rebounds and kickouts, and John hit me on a couple, and I was fortunate to be able to knock down some. And I just stayed with it, man. I wasn't. They kind of took me out of the floor a little bit, like the second, third quarters. I didn't really shoot the ball that much, and then the fourth quarter, I just took advantage of every opportunity I was open. And I have to give credit to my bigs and, and this point guard next to me, man, for for uh, setting me up and getting me involved. I think we just did a great job of staying calm and composed. You know what I mean? Like you said, early in the season, we would get rattled on guys trying to make plays one-on-one -on, -one on their own. Uh, tonight, we trusted in our offense like we've been doing. And uh, just making big shots to get off his rebounds. But the main thing is, uh, guys stood up and got defense and stopped down the stretch. Um, you guys talked about just getting those first games jitted out of the way. Uh, Brad, I know it had to be tough uh, you know, right away. That altercation with Kurt Heinrich, that's it, that gets you rattled for a little bit. And then, and then also just John, you can just talk about just how you all dealt with the physical play. Uh, we knew coming in it was going to be a lot more physical than game one. Yeah. That's all we talked about is game one. It took look, do with it. Look how much it took us to get get that win. We knew in game two it was going to take a lot more effort. And uh, in the second quarter, like the first game, they kind of they kind of pumped it. They did whatever they wanted, got more offensive rebounds. And uh, we talked about it at halftime, just coming out, being more aggressive. And uh, everybody got a game rebound, all five guys. And uh, we did that. And down to the end of that fourth quarter, last four to five minutes, we just kept fighting and fighting. And, Forced overtime and came out came out with a tough win. Uh, I mean, the alter the altercation with Kurt it was it was nothing crazy. Uh, it was just us getting tangled up and, and getting rattled. But that's that's playoff basketball, man. Everybody's everybody's trying to fight the win. There's a war out there, and uh, he's a smart player. He tried to get me to do something silly that I wasn't I wasn't gonna fall into the trap of doing. But uh, it was nothing too serious. Uh, it was just it, it happens within the Florida game. We both got takes and we moved on. From People that look at the uh, these two games, they'll say you guys could have had a bigger regular season. Uh, what, what's the difference between where you guys are at now and where you were three, four months ago? Uh, it's, it's a learning process for us, man. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing for us. We've, we've came a, such a long way, uh, starting from last year with me coming to the team and then the growth that we've had this year, the assets and the guys we brought in. It, it's, throughout the whole year, just, we've been growing and growing and growing. And now in the playoffs, it's... We're playing for something bigger. It was a, it was our main goal coming into the season, but we're, we're not satisfied with that. Now we have higher goals and higher standards. And, and uh, we, we, as we went on, like I said before, as we went on along throughout the season, man, we, we've learned a lot of things along the way. And uh, whatever it takes to win, that's what we're, we're capable of doing now. Uh, to both you guys, if you, if you would, uh, two games obviously does not make a series, but can you talk about the position that you're now in up to nothing and obviously going home? Uh, it's the same as we came into this game. We're still the underdogs. I mean, it's great to, to win two games on a row, but we're still the underdogs. We got to understand what it took to win these first two games and how much more it's going to take to win game three. You know, we're excited to finally get back to D.C. and play our first playoff game in front of our fans and give them what they deserve. But we know we're going to come out with a better effort than we did in game one and two to get a game three win. Oh, this is like John hit it on, uh, hit it on the head. We got to come out like we're down 0-1 or 0-2. We got to have that sense of urgency. And that, uh, and just that drive and that motivation to be able to come out like we did tonight at an early jump, and uh, we got to maintain that lead. We know they're going to go on runs, but we got to we got to continue to stay poised and stay uh, stay within the flow and, and keep our core and not get scattered around, be, become selfish players. We got to stick together as a team like we've been doing, and, and uh, hopefully we can pull out a, a game three at home. Uh, for John Wall, uh, they had a quick scoreless stretch at the end of uh, game one. I think they went something like eight minutes toward the end of this game without a field goal. So what did you see? What did you guys do in that stretch? Uh, we just know we got to step up our defense intensity. You know what I mean? You know those guys, and like tonight, DJ Augustine got himself going and making tough shots, and Taj Gibson coming off the bench. And uh, we just had to change up our coverage. You know, and Trey Reason did a great job of switching on DJ Augustine. And uh, we were just talking and giving him different looks. And, uh, just try to make it tough as much as possible and uh, give ourselves the opportunity to fight back and make plays down on the other end. Brad, you had the chance to take that last shot during regulation. 
how much did you appreciate that moment, appreciate the opportunity to do that, and then John, you set him up for that. How did you see him coming through? Like, how much do you think that could mean to him to have the opportunity there? Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was probably like one of my favorite plays we run. Uh, just me in a big, just a two-man game. And, uh, for me, I was just, just trying to be aggressive, just trying to get to the spot, and uh, trying to hit a shot. And I think I probably could have made a, I probably could have passed it because I had two guys on me. I think I seen John waving his hands up uh, at the top of the key, so I probably could have hit him too. But uh, throughout the Florida game, I was, just, I was just trying to get the shot up. You know, it was running down, the clock was running down, but I was, we was fortunate enough to be able to go on overtime and pull out a big one. Uh, it's funny, we both want the ball in those type of situations. And, uh, I respect when the call is played for him and it's called for me. And uh, in that situation, in the fourth quarter, he was making more shots than us and keeping it, and he had a flow going. And, uh, in that situation, the coach made a great call of giving him the ball. And uh, he does a great job of making reads if he's going to take the shot or not. And in that situation, he, he probably seen guys open, but you don't want to force a turnover and kind of get him an easy basket. So we'd rather deal with the shot he took. He make it. If not, we trust in him. And we did a great job of coming back in overtime and fighting and get a win. Brad, I, I was curious what happened to get you into that rhythm there at the end of the game. And secondly, uh, do you credit thin crust pizza with this game? <laughs> <laughs> Chicago pizza not better than St. Louis pizza, though. I'll tell you that. But uh, it's uh, I, I, it was just my mentality. I think John can agree to this, man. We I don't like losing. And, uh, I mean, whatever it takes to win, for this team to win, man, it's, it's, I'm going to do it. I mean, whether it's scoring the ball, defending their best player, or getting the rebound, but just the griminess and just that having that mental approach and that, that confidence in the game. That's what I think. That's what me and John both bring to the table. I um, mean, no situation in the fourth quarter. I felt as though I just had to get going. I had to, I had to uplift the team and uh, get us going offensively. And my teammates did a great job of setting me up. And I was fortunate to be able to put some points on the board.